Omaha's most accurate forecast. I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist David Keller on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Schrock Innovations presents the Midwest's number one independent computer repair company with service centers in Lincoln, Omaha, Papillion, and across the country via the Schrock desk. This is Compute This. Good morning, folks, and welcome into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. We've got three locations to help you out when your computer is not doing well or you know, when you have uh, you know, some worries about the security on your computer, we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Uh, or maybe if you need a new surge protector or battery backup for severe weather season, um, we're the place to go. Uh, three locations, 27th and Pine Lake Road in Lincoln. That service center will be moving in the coming weeks uh, over to 7501 South 14th. Uh, don't worry about remembering the address. We'll, we'll tell you about that later. But it's moving about a mile down the road. That's all. I just didn't want you to like, see the building there's there and the signs were gone. And, you know, I talked to my sign guy. I'm like, I want to find out if the signs we have now will fit on the new building. And if they will, that's awesome because signs are expensive. <laughs> it's cheaper to move them than it is to make them. And if not, well, then we need to get started because it takes a good month and lead time to make signs. And they're talking about being done in four weeks in that service center. That doesn't mean we're going to move in four weeks and open up there. That means it'll be move in ready. We start to get the furniture and everything put in. It takes a little bit of time. Well, I, I get this call back from the sign guy, and he's like, uh, "Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be uh, looking at moving everything over. Um, yeah, we could uh, we could get you on the schedule tomorrow." I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean on the schedule? <laughs> like, I'm not sure what you mean by that." So if you see the signs disappear off the building, we didn't go out of business. We're just moving in Omaha, 168th and Burke. We got a good four years left on that lease. We ain't going anywhere there. However, the rent has been climbing precipitously, so I would not be surprised in four years if you saw us take a look around, at least poke our head up and see what's going on, because that's what happened in our Papillion Service Center, 72nd and Highway 370 there. That was part of it anyway, um, and we ended up moving over to uh, 84th and Highway 370, again, like a mile down the road, uh, but we have, you know, a better mix of other businesses around us that support the, the business park. We have uh, better rent terms, a really cool landlord. Like my landlord is so cool. The other day, I'm like, you know what? I need to cut a 41 by 41 inch hole in the exterior wall of the building. Is that okay? And he's like, sure, Thor, just use our guy to, to watertight it. I'm like, watertight the 41 by 41 hole. I mean, at some point when you're cutting a big hole in the wall, it ceases to be a wall, you know, <laughs> it depends how big the hole is. That's how much air we're pulling in for the, uh, the little, uh, we're, we're calling it a mini data center. Um, but uh, basically it's a, it's a 10 by six room. That's going to house a whole bunch of computers that are going to help fuel the next, uh, incarnation, if you will, of what Schrock is bringing to market. Uh, so it's pretty cool there, but that, uh, we have to replace all the air in the room every 30 seconds. That's how much heat it's generating every 30 seconds. So uh, it's gonna be pretty, yeah, so we need to have a big hole in the wall to let outside air in because we're moving the air so quickly, it doesn't make sense to air condition it. So it's pretty, pretty cool stuff. All right, 866-496-8772 is the number to join us on the program this morning. Uh, all three service centers today are reporting that they are within normal turnaround times. That's 24 to 48 hours typically. Uh, also, I wanted to let everybody know who has a computer on order. Uh, we've had some issues uh, with motherboard availability. Uh, basically, what's happened is they, they went into shortage, and we have to, for, especially for the ultimate upgrade desktops we're building, we try to use a motherboard that has all three video hookups on it. It has the old VGA hookup, it's got the newer DVI hookup, and it has the current standard, the HDMI hookup. We can get boards that don't have the old VGA hookup, but what ends up happening inevitably is somebody has a monitor from like, you know, back in the day, and then they get upset because they, their ultimate upgrade can't run their old monitor, and they have to buy a new monitor now, and that wasn't part of the deal. You know, we have people who get upset sometimes when they can't use their old round PS2 keyboards and mice uh, on the new computer because Windows 10 doesn't use those anymore. Um, and so we have to make sure we get those hookups. There's only two motherboards on the market. I mean, we can buy like the, the – the brand is called AS Rock. Um, I don't know what marketing genius, I mean, I'm, I, just because there could be kids listening, I'm not going to say what that phonetically spells, but you could say that in your mind, AS rock. Now they're thinking hard as a rock, like this is solid technology, but you don't say, you don't say as rock. 
I'm just saying. And I'm not going to put a board in a computer like that's a that's a good rock of technology right there. That's a, that's a nugget, if you will. Um, it's just that it doesn't work. And honestly, the, the boards are not that great. Um, they're generic white box uh, Asus boards. Asus makes some of the best boards in the business. And these are kind of the boards that don't have quite everything that their good boards do. Um, so we can get those all day long because nobody wants those. But the better boards, the gigabyte boards, the MSI boards, um, they, were, they were in shortage. So then what ended up happening is they got back in stock, but everybody's quantity limited because they're, you know, everyone's back ordered basically. And so they're trying to give everybody a little bit. Uh, well, we, we didn't need a little bit. We needed like, you know, 40. <laughs> and so, uh, so what we've ended up having to do is we've, we've just, you know, just as of yesterday, we went into all the secondary markets and we paid the exorbitant markups to get all the boards um, that we need to finish every single build we have. The reason this is important Normally, it takes 14 business days for us to complete a build. Um, 14 business days is also, uh, on a good trip, about how long it takes for a boat to cross the ocean from the, uh, the Asia region where all this stuff is made. And almost every single one of these parts has some piece of it that's sourced in China. If you were listening to the news this week, you know that uh, tariffs went from 10% to 25% on Friday. Anything that left after 12.01 on Friday from China when it arrives in America, will be 25, or now it'll be 15% more expensive than it was before, where it was already 10% more expensive. Um, so we're waiting to see what this does to component prices. Um, we basically just absorbed the 10% tariff. We did not pass that on as a cost increase um, because honestly, there wasn't, you know, we could do that. And we didn't want to, we figured it's going to be temporary. It's just going to be a few months. You know, we can, we can handle this. Now things are starting to look a little more protracted. And with a 25% cost increase, let's just put it this way. We don't make anywhere near 25% on the overall when we sell a computer. And almost every part of that computer has a component that's made in China. Now we try to source everything we can domestically. For example, we will use Micron memory. Micron is the only memory manufacturer located in the United States. So whenever we possibly can, we will use Micron memory or one of its sub brands. The, uh, you know, anything that we can get like our card readers or the mounting trays for the card readers, they're not made in the U.S., but at least they're made in Mexico, right? They're closer. We can get those from there. But, um, you know, for example, we're, we're working on getting the next generation of our Schrock modular storage devices built. Typically, we, we talk to our factory in China. We had this all lined up. Literally, all I have to do is pull the trigger and wire transfer some money, and we will have brand new external hard drives in about 25 days. That's all I have to do. But at a 25% tariff, I'm thinking I should at least look and see if there's a factory in the United States that can do this, right? And here's the problem. There just isn't. And it's not, it's not like uh, there are factories, of course, that could make external hard drives. There are factories that could make these things for us. But these are factories that don't have the molds. So when you buy the, uh, the external hard drive from Schrock, it's not our mold. There's a company in China that basically says we're going to make external hard drives for customers and the housing – the, the, the tray that you put everything in, that's a mold. And so that mold is what it is. And a hundred different companies can use the same mold, but the technical guts inside can be different. Well, if you want to make a mold, and making a mold is like $10,000, and you have to have all the CAD work and design work done, and then you still have to source all the electronic guts to go on the inside. We can't find anyone domestically to do the electronic guts. We can find someone who can do the mold, of course, but then we have to ship the finished housings to wherever the, the electronic guts are, or we have to ship the electronic guts to us and do the assembly ourselves, um, which, you know, when you're paying your technicians, what we pay our technicians is just not cost effective. So that's the problem that uh, when, you, when you say, why can't we just buy it in America? That's the problem that we have. There's, there's decades of infrastructure that has been eroded. Let's put it that way. So I totally understand why the president's doing what he's doing. I completely agree that it needs to be done. However, the one thing, the one thing, I'm not going to get political on this, but the one thing that irks me to no end is when he says China's paying these amazing tariffs and it's a wonderful flow of money into the U.S. Treasury, billions and billions of dollars paid by China. The next time I have to write a check for the tariffs, which they are paid by the small businesses that import the goods, not by China, I'm going to take a picture of that check <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to send it to somebody. I don't know who, but I'm going to like, where do, who, who do I turn this into at China to get reimbursed? The last one that I wrote was 2,500 bucks. 
and that was for four cases of freight. So it's expensive, guys. So the worry that we have over at Schrock right now is that right now, the only things that are not impacted by tariffs as far as our world goes are wholly assembled computers and phones, right? So Apple iPhones, Android phones, not impacted. Apple computers, Dell computers, HP computers, not impacted. Components for computer repair or for building your own computer, 25% tariff. So right now, boom, off the top, Schrock modular desktops are going to get hit with a 25% tariff starting in about two weeks. And then there's a threat going forward that if China doesn't respond to this, that we are going to start tariffing everything else at 25%. If we do that, you will see a definite, the phones probably not. The phone, there's such a huge markup in phones, they can absorb that. But in your desktop and laptop computers, there's not that much margin there. So you're going to see a definite price increase going in about two to five weeks on those items. Um, so we are literally ordering everything we can get our hands on, even if we have to pay a little bit more for it to get it through, you know, through other supply channels in the, in the retail marketplace even. Um, to give you an idea, you know, the motherboards that we buy, they're 50, 60 bucks a board typically. Um, I paid $76 per board yesterday when I ordered everything we needed because that's, you know, the tariff price is gonna be higher. So uh, the good news here is if you have a computer, you're waiting on a computer, even if you were told it's 14 business days, it's gonna be a lot less. Um, the bad news is, is all these parts are going to hit the Papillion Service Center at the same time. So now we're dealing with the human component of our guys having to build everything. It takes a little bit of time there too. So we'll give you a buzz as soon as your computers are ready. But if you are thinking about a new computer purchase, there's not a sale or a special going on right now. So I don't typically you know, talk too much about this. But if you were thinking about a laptop or a desktop purchase, I would strongly encourage you to make that purchase very quickly to avoid that 25% tariff increase. All right, 866-496-8772. Also, you can watch the program live today on Facebook, facebook.com slash Schrock Innovations. If you're on Facebook right now, please make sure you click the like button and the follow button as well. When you click that follow button, when we do these live broadcasts, it'll pop up at the top of your feed and let you know that we're live. Sometimes we're doing live things that are funny or interesting. So you know, we don't usually do, do them for advertising. You know, we don't, we don't like, hey, we got this great special on surge protectors. They're half off this month. You know, we don't do that, but we'll do like, uh, you know, I might do a live stream from the new Lincoln Service Center on Tuesday, for example, just to show you guys what it looks like while it's being constructed. The drywall is all up in there now. So you can, it actually is starting to look like a space now. Uh, so yeah, make sure you click that follow button there as well. All right, today on the program, there are two crypto mining groups. Read two, comp two organizations that infect your computer with malware in order to have it mine cryptocurrencies for you. Um, and they're fighting over computers right now in the marketplace between the two of them. Uh, part of that is because Bitcoin touched $7,000. Now, last that, that's up last month, Bitcoin was $4,000. So crypto winter is over. Um, and all we're seeing the prices of uh, Bitcoin mining equipment, even outdated equipment going up dramatically. Uh, the old S9 miners were worth about 180 bucks before this $2,000 jump. Now they're worth about $400. Um, so you were seeing these, uh, the, the, the mania is coming back. Um, so if you, if you were going to try to get in on the early stages of that mania, this would be that time. Um, who knows when the mania ends though? That's the, uh, that's the, the challenge there. Uh, 10 grand is definite. Six grand is probably going to, it's going to chill at six for a little bit and then it's going to go to 10 next if it keeps going up. So that's, uh, that's my official, my official idea anyway. Um, the United States government is charging some hackers. We're going to talk about that on the program. Amazon sellers are getting stuck with extensive fraud. We'll talk about that. Uh, new piece of ransomware is disguising itself as antivirus software. That's right. So you're, you get a message on your screen that says, your PC is at risk, and it looks like a legit Microsoft message. And it says, click here to install this uh, free anti-malware product. And so you do, but you're actually downloading and installing ransomware that's going to infect your computer, encrypt all of the files on your computer so you can't open them, and then demand a Bitcoin ransom. So if you think Bitcoin is going to appreciate in value, you should buy one. If you think you're going to install this ransomware on your computer, you should buy one because it takes a little time to get Bitcoin purchased. They give you like 72 hours when you get infected. That's not enough time. That's why we keep some Bitcoin around at the shop so that if you do need it, we have it available to unlock your documents. Um, here's the thing, guys. 
get semantic endpoint. You can get it on our website, schrockinnovations.com. Get semantic endpoint and just be done with it. Then whenever anything pops up on your screen about your computer security, you just call us. It is completely covered by your warranty. You call us, you say, hey, I got this message on my screen. Should I do anything with that? And the answer is no, you shouldn't. Don't do anything. If you ever get a message on your computer about your PC being at risk, your IP address being hacked, I got a Facebook message this week. And, um, it keeps telling us our IP is being hacked and we're going to be cut off from the internet soon if we don't do something. It's all fake. But I keep calling us. It's, it's all fake, guys. So it, it's literally a fake alert. We call it a fake alert. It's a fake alert on your computer that there's something wrong when there's actually nothing wrong. If you have semantic endpoint, number one, it will block almost 95% of these fake alerts, so you'll never see them. And number two, you know you'll have peace of mind knowing that you have good antivirus software on your computer and that it's keeping you safe so you don't have to worry about it. Even if an alert does come up, you know it's fake. Um, had a guy in the Papillion Service Center saying he keeps getting emails. Um, he's getting the, the, the big thing going around right now are these invoice emails. So um, the CFO of a company, the chief financial officer, gets an email that is supposedly um, from the president of the company saying to wire transfer X number of dollars, here's all the bank account information. In companies that don't have proper methodologies in place for wire transfers, some companies will just say, okay, and wire transfer the money. And then the, you know, the Nigerian prince gets the wire transfer and there's no getting a wire transfer back, it's gone. Um, so those emails, unfortunately, those are not stopped by antivirus. So that's the one thing that you can never fix. You can never you can fix the hardware. You can make sure the hardware is secure. You can do that with a firewall. You can fix the software. Semantic endpoint, secure updater will keep your computer safe. But there's nothing we can do for the wetware. That's the, the mush between the ears. The wetware is the vulnerability, and that's why we educate on the program here every week. If you get a Microsoft pop-up telling you a quote-unquote Microsoft pop-up, telling you there's something wrong with your computer, you can call us and ask us about it. We've seen them all. Normally, by the time you get about 10 words in, we can tell you if it's fake or not. Sometimes we even cut you off and be like, it's fake. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, how do you know? Because I've gotten four other calls today. <laughs> it's, it's going around today. Okay, it's fake. Um, so you can call us and ask us. Even if you don't have endpoint, you can call and ask. But if you feel like your computer gets infected and you have semantic endpoint, we will actually fix it for free. In fact, semantic endpoint is going to be getting a dramatic improvement in its security this week. You're going to see a message on your screen that's telling you it's going to install a new copy of endpoint. Uh, it doesn't give you the ability to, uh, to opt out or delay it. It's that important. Um, so you're going to see that pop up on your screen. If you get a pop up that says your computer is going to restart in 20 minutes, uh, to install new endpoint software that is legitimate and it's okay. You can click the restart now button or you can just let it sit for 20 minutes and it'll do it all itself. That's us. It's okay. So don't sweat that one there. All right, 866 496 8772. We're also going to talk about the city of Baltimore today. Boy, if they would have uh, just installed their semantic endpoint, they wouldn't need the FBI to investigate how they got so incredibly thoroughly hacked. But in a, uh, we're going to tell you a wonderful piece of diplomatic doublespeak. The entire city's IT infrastructure system is down. No one can send or receive emails. Nobody can use any city websites. But the citizens of Baltimore are not affected by this outage. Yeah. 866-496-8772. All right, Craig, Cindy, hang on the line. Your calls are coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations can't teleport technicians to you, but online help is only a click away with the Schrock Desk. Subscribe today and get unlimited help whenever you need it. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier, and the all-new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, Find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archived radio shows or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the Schrock Desk. 
As always, we respect your privacy, so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new Shrockinnovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. Compute this pro tip 299. There are enough mothballed computers in U.S. homes to give one to every man, woman, and child in the country. Many of these computers find their way into landfills where they can leak cadmium, lithium, and other nasty chemicals into the groundwater. Schrock Innovations is very proud of the fact that we recycle more e-waste every year than we create. You can drop off any old or broken computer equipment to our service centers at any time, free of cost. We only charge $15 just for monitors because they are especially difficult to process. No appointment is required, and we accept all computer-related equipment like printers, keyboards, speakers, and accessories. Additionally, the rare earth elements in computers can be recycled right here in the U.S. to reduce our reliance on supplies from foreign countries. Take a moment, drop off your old computer equipment today, and Schrock will make sure it's properly recycled and put to good use right here in the U.S. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Sale ongoing in our service centers. Uh, surge protectors are currently half off. Uh, we did receive our first shipment of surge protectors. And depending on your perspective, I'm pleased to report or sorry to report that they were completely sold out when they arrived. Like people had ordered from the website, schrockinnovations.com. You can click on shop and specials. Or from the service centers, we actually had more orders than we received surge protectors for. Um, Great news there is we only got half of our shipment, which we were a little concerned about. Uh, apparently, uh, they are on back order. Uh, we're a little concerned about that. So we went out and bought some from some other place that are the same surge protectors. We have them coming in. And in theory, everything will come in and everything will be fine. But we wanted to make sure. So we just ordered some extras anyway because people are still buying them. Uh, so surge protectors right now are half off. They're $30 instead of $60, which is $29.99. Um, so definitely pick yourself up one or two. These are our famous audible alert surge protectors. They chirp when they can't protect your gear anymore, as opposed to every other one on the planet that doesn't do a darn thing when it can't protect your gear anymore. It just sits there and pretends like it can. Ours won't do that. So that's why I say buy a couple because when they start chirping, it always happens in the middle of the night. It's like having a cricket in your house. It's, it's really annoying. Uh, you'll want to replace it immediately. Um, the other thing is uh, during severe weather season, one thing most people don't consider is when the power goes out, your wireless network and your, uh, your modem go down because the power is out. And when, when that happens, a few, a few important things happen. Number one, if you have kiddos or grandkids at the house and they're all using their iPads and whatnot to, uh, to entertain themselves during the big scary tornado warning, they suddenly have no internet anymore. And all of a sudden they kind of get bored and then they kind of get scared. Having a battery backup powering your modem and your router. Now you can put it on your computer too and it'll keep the computer running. But having that on your modem and router keeps your wireless network operating when the power is out. The particular one that we're offering will keep it running for up to four hours uh, and during a power outage. It also, not to mention the fact if the power blinks, every time it blinks, you know it takes like four minutes for the internet to come back up. <laughs> this will stop that from happening because the internet will never go down. Um, so the battery backups are on special. It's only $60 more to upgrade your surge protector to a battery backup. And these aren't just like, you know, you know, Amazon basic battery backups or, you know, made in China specials. These are APC battery backups. The APC is the brand and they are the gold standard in battery backups. Uh, the battery backups are in stock right now in all three service centers. So you could actually go there and pick one up. Uh, unlike the surge protectors that are out of stock. So if you wanted to upgrade to a battery backup, you can do that as well. It's a separate product at schrockinnovations.com. Click on shop and specials. 866-496-8772. Craig, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Well, good morning, Thor. Hey, I really appreciate the services, a great customer service, and value your company provides you. at uh, Schrock Industries, man. You're doing the community a favor. Um. I was wondering if you saw in the Omaha World Herald, it was a pretty good article, uh, either yesterday's paper or Friday, I think it was in the Midland section, about the power grid in this country. Oh, yeah. 
You saw that? Well, I, I know what you're talking about. I didn't see that particular article, but the information's not new. It's been going on for quite a while. Why aren't these doggone worthless politicians that we have in this country doing anything about it? It's a national security issue. Everything will come to a stop if oh, yeah. something happens, either by a solar flare or by one of our enemies. Yes. Yeah, so uh, if, if you missed that article, what Craig is talking about here is uh, the potential of an EMP, an, electro, an electromagnetic pulse. Um, mm -hmm. That they're, they're generated naturally by the sun. There was a, in the 1800s, I think it was 1870 something, um, the yeah. Carrington event um, basically was a massive solar flare that the sun cranked out and it hit the earth and it literally lit the telegraph wires on fire because, you know, we had the Yule telegraph back then. And people right. who were like, nee, 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 and then literally their telegraph like tapper would erupt into a ball of fire. I mean, could you imagine like the, the, the holy apocalyptic moment when that starts happening and you have no idea why it's happening? Um, so those kind of things, you know, that was back in the telegraph days. Now the argument is everything is so much more sensitive. You know, your surge protector is not going to protect you. Even the audible alert one is not going to protect you from an EMP because of how fast and how they travel and they can go wireless. So like anything that has an antenna. So your cell phone will fry, even if it's not hooked up to the power grid, you know, everything like that. So basically the challenge here is, is imagine a world where all the electronics stop working at the same time. So all the refrigeration in the grocery stores is out. Um, no more trucks because you can't get gas out of the ground. Um, Let's see, uh, no more factories because the factory stuff won't work. Uh, farmers can't get fuel, so they can't farm. And as you can, the, the problem is the, the, the electric power plant pieces that get fried by an EMP, they're handmade in Germany. And there isn't anyone but Germany, apparently, that makes these things. They, take, they have like a six to nine month lead time because they're made to order. And, there are, and because they're so expensive, most power companies don't keep but a few spares. Because the idea that all of yours would go out at the same time is crazy. So the problem here is, is if something like that happened, you're down for six months. And then um, the uh, congressional report said uh, something like 80% of the population would die if that happened. Um, so unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, again, depending on your perspective, power companies are mostly neither nonprofit, privately held, or separate corporations from the government. So they have to incur the cost of upgrading and protecting and hardening the power grid from this from happening. The military hardens their own power grid. And so the stuff that's under U.S. control, a lot of that has already been hardened through executive order. Um, but the unfortunate thing is the politicians don't have any control over local companies. So unless you're going to give local company X uh, a bucket load of money to do the work, that's about the only thing a politician can do. Thanks for the call, Craig. I appreciate it. We've got to take a quick break here going into the bottom of the hour. Stick with us, though. When we come back, Amazon sellers are getting defrauded and uh, <laughs> bigger than Windows, bigger than iOS. Who has the most, com com what, who's the biggest computer maker in the world right now? Who's bigger than Apple and bigger than Windows? We're going to tell you coming up next on Compute This. If you can dream it, Schrock Interactive's website developers can make it happen. Refresh your website, automate sales and marketing, and grow your business today with Schrock Interactive. Some people like desktops for their power and upgradability, but nothing rivals a laptop for computing on the go. But why should you have to sacrifice performance for portability? The innovators at Schrock want our customers to have it all, so we created a new kind of laptop, the Solid State Laptop from Schrock Innovations. Solid State laptops are built using the same frame and main boards as regular laptops, but we've removed half of the moving parts while more than doubling the computer's speed. The result, laptops that boot to Windows in six seconds or less, respond instantly to your commands, and can survive drops that put most laptops into the data recovery lab. Starting at only $4.99, Solid State Laptops give you speed, reliability, durability, and performance for the same price most people pay for a cheap disposable laptop. The next time you're looking for a laptop, check out the Solid State Laptops at SchrockInnovations.com or visit any of our service centers. Simple, solid, fast technology is what we do at Schrock. Compute this pro tip 843. Of all computer failures, the scariest and most expensive is the hard drive. But there are some steps you can take to save money and save your data before it's too late. 
Detecting failures early is important, so install a free utility like DriveAdvisor from driveadvisor.com to monitor your hard drive's health and receive warnings when there's a problem. But most of all, hard drive failures happen slowly, so early detection is key to reducing the repair bill. Second, if your hard drive makes any unusual noises, immediately turn off your computer and do not turn it on again. These issues are physical problems, and the more you try to use it, the worse the damage becomes. Remember that most computer repair shops do not have the specialized equipment needed to recover data from a failed drive. Never open your drive or allow anyone else to do so. Open drives always cost more to recover. Troc does not charge for data recovery evaluations and quotes, so let the local pros look at your drive before you make any recovery decisions. This pro tip brought to you by Troc Innovations Computer Company. Fox News, I'm Karen McHugh. Half a million and counting. That's how many illegal immigrants have been seized along the southern border so far this year, an issue that will occupy a lot of the next defense secretary's time, an issue where both he and the president appear to be on the same page. My job is to get the results we need to make this country successful, to defend this country. Patrick Shanahan with Fox's Brian Kilmeade. He's President Trump's pick to lead the Defense Department. Presidential politicking in Vegas. Democratic hopeful Pete Buttigieg looking forward while speaking to an LGBTQ advocacy group at a human rights campaign event. We can't go back. Democrats can't take us back to 2008 or 1998 any more than conservatives can take us back to the 50s. Things are changing. Our country is being buffeted by extraordinary change. Mayor Pete, according to Real Clear Politics, is in fifth place among Democratic contenders for for the White House. This is Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. An isolated shower is possible early this morning, otherwise, partly sunny skies. Temperatures climbing to around 60 degrees this afternoon. Clouds will build up late in the day with a few isolated showers possible. Overnight, clearing skies with temperatures falling to around 42 degrees, mostly sunny on Monday with a high temperature around 71. With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist David Keller on News Radio 1110 KFAB. All right, guys, welcome back into Compute This. We had a, an active, you really need to be watching at facebook.com slash rock innovations. You see, during the news break, the camera still rolls. And they're, they're, you're just hearing the audio of the news break, but you're watching me. You're watching me take a drink of coffee. You're watching me talk to people in the room. Um, and it's boring, right? So I got to find something entertaining. I was like, maybe I should do some salsa dancing. No one wants to see that. And everyone in the studio is like, you might be surprised. And I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking back to when I was, uh, I don't know, it was one of the years we were doing the altar, no, that was the holiday special. And we just, we got so many orders at the last minute, we were backed up on buildings. So I was in there actually assembling computers with the guys, kind of like a, a, a Tesla moment with Elon, you know, we're going through production hell right now. And so I'm building and I got a sheet metal cut on one of the computer side panels. And so I was joking on the radio that, you know, one lucky customer will get a computer that actually has a smear of my blood inside the case. And it was just supposed to be one of those stupid offhanded things you say and whatever. We actually got calls in the service center for people requesting the computer with my blood in it, which was entertaining and slightly disturbing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, 866-496-8772. Stay tuned after the program as well. When the show is done on the radio, we go back to Facebook for a second live broadcast called The Aftershock, where we talk about all kinds of stuff like this that doesn't fit in the program with any reasonable, rational purpose, but is really entertaining to hear anyway. All right, so 866-496-8772. Cindy, you're next up on the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Well, hi, Thor. <clears throat> I purchased the safe upgrade, and I've heard the buildup, and I've been waiting and waiting. Mm -hmm. I did, didn't receive the download notice. Correct. So did it happen or not? It has not happened yet. Um, and thank you okay. for bringing this up, Cindy, because I do need to every week. It's like you guys have heard the buildup, and I don't mean to keep building it, but here's the thing. So Microsoft, the second Tuesday of every month is Patch Tuesday. Microsoft has a planned release of patches. So when I'm talking with the guys in the service center, I'm like, guys, I don't think it's going to happen in the, you know, it didn't happen in the first four days of the month. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, it didn't happen last week. I don't think it's going to happen in this coming week because Microsoft already has an update coming out that week. So they're probably going to let that update hit and sit before they push out another one. So my guess is we're going to be looking at the week of the, the 20th or the 27th. 
probably the 27th. Wow. So we got a little bit of time yet here. Um, if you don't know what Safe Upgrade is, if you're a new listener to the program, Microsoft has a brand new version of Windows 10. They're going to call it an update, but it's actually an upgrade. It's a whole new version, and they're going to install it on your computer. So the way this works is randomly at some point in the middle of the night, your computer is going to say, time to bake the donuts. And it's going to grab all of your files and pictures and everything that's important to you and set them off to the side. Then it's going to delete your computer's operating system because, you know, it doesn't need that. Then it's going to install a new one, and then it's going to move all of your stuff back over again. And by the way, when this all happens because of a bug, you can't have any USB devices hooked up, any uh, USB data devices, like, you know, your backup drive. Microsoft recommends you unhook that before you do the update. But since you don't know when the update is going to come down, you pretty much just have to unhook it now and leave it unhooked, right? Well, nothing could possibly go wrong, right? I mean, you're not... So anyway, Safe Upgrade is a program that we make at Schrock that the update is free from Microsoft, but our program, it's a $50 program, but what it does is it installs it on your computer the same way one of our technicians would do in the service center. It goes through all the steps to check all the things that, would, that have gone wrong in the past, and if we detect that one of those things is going to happen to your computer, we will stop the installation. We call it Safe Upgrade not sure upgrade. So if yours stops, that means there's a problem and we want to look at it more closely. And we can have a technician do a Schrock desk and take a look. If it's something that we can fix over the Schrock desk really easily, we'll just go ahead and do it for you. If it's something that has to come into the service center, you have to pay a little bit of an upcharge because now we're installing the update for you as opposed to the home do-it-yourself option you purchased off the website. So Cindy went to our website at schrockinnovations.com. She clicked on shop and specials, which is a commonly referring theme or repeating theme right now, um, where you can find all kinds of stuff apparently on special. And uh, she purchased a her copy of Safe Upgrade. You need one for each computer you want to upgrade. Um, they're good on that computer as many times as you need it, but they're only good for this update. So if you purchased one for the previous update six months ago or the one before that, those versions of Safe Upgrade will not work for the current one that's coming out this month. You have to buy a, one for the current update. Um, so thank you very much for the call, Cindy. I appreciate it. Um, you, just stay tuned. When this update hits, we will, of course, tell you about it here on Compute This. We will send a, an automated phone call to you to tell you it's time to go. We're going to send you an email, with, with again, with the download link again. You can download the Safe Upgrade product right now if you want. You go to your Schrock account. Uh, you log in and you uh, you go to your your uh, virtual products and you download Safe Upgrade. If you try to run it, it'll say uh, 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 not yet <laughs> because the update's not out yet. Um, and it'll say it politely though. And then you know when we when you get go, then you're all ready. You've got it downloaded. Everything is set and you're good to go. Thanks for the call, Cindy. Eight six six four nine six eight seven seven two. Now Schrock Innovations has three locations. Um, because this update's coming out pretty quickly, some people have chosen to just leave their computer in the service center if they're going on vacation or whatever. You're welcome to do that. You can drop it off at any one of our three locations, and we will actually hold on to it for you until the update is done. Uh, we'll get it done on your computer in the service center, and then when it's all done, you can pick it up at your convenience. Three locations. We have 84th and Highway 370 in Papillion, 27th and Pine Lake Road in Lincoln, and in Omaha, 168th and Burke. Also, one thing I will mention is uh, we do a little bit more than computer repair. Um, so one of the big things that we've, last week was huge for whatever reason, something was in the water with data recovery, uh, but we recover lost or damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards. Just a heartbreaking story about a, a little girl who went on a, a Make-A-Wish cruise. Um, and if you know anything about the Make-A-Wish Foundation, you know, she, she's going to die. And so they, they gave her a, prince, a Disney princess cruise. Um, Dad took all the pictures, did everything right, had a ba hit, he was backing them up off the camera cards, putting them on the computer, got home, tried to transfer the stuff from the computer to an external hard drive, and ended up losing it both in both places. Um, and so that was something that we were, we were really blessed to be able to recover that data for him. Uh, so that was awesome. Uh, let me think. Other other interesting things. QuickBooks files. Uh, we've recovered several QuickBooks files for companies this week uh, to make sure we get their data back. I mean, you if you can imagine it, there's uh, a company that a company that if I said their name, you would recognize uh, in the Omaha and Lincoln metro areas. Um, they lost all their business records on a hard drive failure, complete loss of everything, and we're working on getting that back for them right now. Um, so there is. Uh, it's nice to know you have a local option should anything like that ever happen. Of course, we want you to have a backup. We never want to see you in the data recovery lab. But if you do need to go to the data recovery lab, you've got an option, a local option that charges less than the national prices 
that can get your stuff back without you having to ship it to India and back, and that's Truck Innovations. 866-496-8772. FBI investigating Baltimore, Baltimore City ransomware attack as internal network continues to have issues. The FBI is investigating a ransomware attack on Baltimore City's network, while city officials try to bring the network back to its full capacity. Although city services are no longer affected, hackers are still accessing the system, according to the mayor, Jack Young. These people are so sophisticated that their job is just to disrupt, Young said. I wish, <laughs> I wish they would use it for more good than they are than they are for just bad in trying to extort money from cities and companies. It's just not right. That's a heck of a quote. Uh, it was discovered Tuesday that the systems were taken offline and technicians were continuing to work on fixing it. Details are not released, but ransomware is a type of malware. You guys know what that is. Um, okay, quote, <clears throat> no city services have been affected. People were able to get their cars at the towing yard. People came, come in and pay cash or money orders so they can mail their payments in. Also, the city is still functioning. We're doing it a different way, and the citizens of Baltimore are not being affected. We just cannot get emails and those kind of things, Young said. We are moving forward, and citizens should not notice anything other than that they have to come in and do things manually. But the citizens are not affected. This is great. Okay, so the citizens are not, are not affected by this, Baghdad Bob. Um, but you have to come in with cash or check or money order. No, he didn't say check because they don't take checks anymore. So cash or money order because they can't take credit cards. Um, you can't do anything online. Like you can't go and renew your – you can't pay any taxes. You can't do anything online. So you have to come into the city office because if you had to go in and let's say a city tax, what's a city tax that everybody pays in Nebraska? Do we – well, is that's not city. That's county. But – yeah, well, you know, let's just say it was the wheel tax, right? Now, but that's, that's a bad example because everybody's had to go in and pay their wheel tax because the online thing is kind of new. But, I mean, okay, so you have to go in and pay all of your taxes in person. You know, okay, that's, that's crazy. Um, no bank drafts, nothing like that. We can't auto draft. We can't do an ACH. It can't do a credit card. It's all got to be no debit cards. Uh, but no one's impacted by this. We just can't send emails internally right now. And so here's what happened to the city of Baltimore. One of the computers, if not all of the computers on their network, were not protected by antivirus software. And the bad guys scan for, com for computers in this environment. Um, when they find one that's a city or a municipality or something like that, that's the gold mine. They, they, they're okay dealing with individuals, but individuals typically don't pay a lot to get their stuff back. A few hundred dollars. Cities, though, I believe the, the ransomware rumor that I'm hearing is about $74,000 for the city of Baltimore to restore their systems like that. Um, so instead, most cities, you know, the FBI advises you not to pay the ransom because it just makes things worse. Some companies don't have that luxury because if you've lost everything, you have to get back up and running or you're going to lose more. So you pay the ransom and it's only a few hundred bucks. So you pay it. 76 grand is a little bit different for a city. So what they're doing right now is they are taking their systems offline because they're full of encrypted files that are not, uh, not able to be used. And they're wiping the systems clean, reloading everything, and restoring backups. And then those, if the backups actually get encrypted too, unless they're disconnected. So who knows how far back the backups are going. And so they're putting the backups on, and then they're bringing the system back online. But he says they're still accessing the system, which tells me whoever the IT guy is there, and maybe this could be a bad read, but whoever the IT guy is in the city of Baltimore doesn't understand that unless he takes the entire network, all of the computers offline entirely, or you know, easiest way to do this is power down the switch so that none of the computers can talk to each other anymore, then you can do onesie twosie repairs and, br and bring them back online as they're repaired and secured by antivirus. Yeah, it's going to cost more than $76,000 for this fix, which is what they count on. They say if you add up the employee time, the security time, and everything else, you're going to spend way more than seventy six dollars getting this up and running. So just pay the ransom and be done with it. Well, here we go. So no city services have been affected, the mayor says. However, um, yeah, the FBI has confirmed that this is very aggressive ransomware. It's not just normal ransomware, you see. The city of Baltimore is being plagued by aggressive ransomware. And yes, it is sad that the, these people, you know, they're not doing this just for the sake of destruction. They're doing this to extort money. That's why they're doing it. So it's, it's sad. It's, un, it's disappointing, but that's why they're doing it.
866-496-8772. I had a corporate client contact me this week and say, hey, we want to get uh, a Schrock corporate service agreement. We have six computers. We gave them the cost. They said, well, maybe this other computer over here, we hardly ever use it for anything. Um, so I don't think we're going to protect that with, with security software or with a uh, corporate service agreement. So I said, okay, you know, we can protect five of your six computers, but then you're the city of Baltimore. And you'll have one computer that stuff will get in on, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to attack your network continuously. If you have a computer that you don't use for anything, why do you have the computer? Get rid of it. Anyway, so uh, it, same thing at home, guys. Uh, this is one of the reasons why next month we will be offering antivirus for Android and iPhone devices. It'll be endpoint for your Android and iPhone device starting next month. Because right now, this is the same problem. You protect your computer six ways from Sunday. But if I can get into your iPhone and spread across your wireless network, what good is the – you're not protecting all your endpoints. And that's the same thing. That's what happened to the city of Baltimore, and that's why we're bringing this to consumers because you're going to be on the forefront of the next wave of attacks unless you protect all of your endpoints. 866-496-8772. Going to take the final break in the program. Thanks for hanging in there, Rick and George. Uh, your calls are coming up next on Compute This. Drive Advisor is a free program from Schrock Innovations that monitors your hard drive's health and tells you if it's going bad. Download it for free at driveadvisor.com. Every person listening to this broadcast has either experienced data loss or knows someone who has. When you think about it, you have a lot more data stored in many more places than you'd like to admit. Have you downloaded those videos from your phone, backed up the pictures on your iPad, or even tackled that sometimes daunting task of backing up your entire computer's hard drive? Most people just don't back up their stuff. And that's why Schrock Innovations has one of the most advanced data recovery centers in the Midwest. Equipped with the latest DDI data imaging devices, state-of-the-art custom recovery software, and Omaha's best data recovery technicians, Schrock Innovations has a 96.8% success rate when recovering data from damaged hard drives, flash drives, camera cards, and more. We all know we should back up our data, but if you are ever caught in a data loss nightmare, call the experts at Schrock Innovations to get your data back right where it belongs, safe and backed up on a stable hard drive. Compute This Pro Tip 578. Technology is constantly changing, so how can you tell when the time has come to recycle your old outdated computer and invest in a new one? Experts have rules of thumb and formulas, but Schrock believes the answer is simple. You should replace your old computer when it can no longer do the things you need in a secure way. For example, you should not be using operating systems like Windows XP or Vista because they're no longer maintained by Microsoft and they're not secure. And if your computer cannot run Windows 10, it's probably time to begin saving for a replacement. If your existing computer requires a repair and that cost is 50% or more of the cost of a new computer, it might be time to consider a replacement. But keep in mind, additional costs like data transfers and important software you have to upgrade like genealogy software or Quicken. And also keep in mind that modern computers are engineered to last 18 months for a normal user. And don't worry, you are considered a normal user. Schrock modular PCs and solid state laptops are specifically designed to last four to six years for that same normal user, saving your family money and time. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Welcome back into Compute This, folks. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, where we still have our surge protectors on special. Uh, they're half off right now. You can upgrade that to a battery backup to keep that Wi-Fi and uh, modem online during a power outage for only $60 more. You can check all this information out on our website at schrockinnovations.com. Click on Shop and Specials to purchase online or you can call or come into the service center to purchase at your convenience. 866-496-8772. Thanks for hanging in there, Rick. I appreciate your patience. How can I help you today on Compute This? Yeah, good morning, Mr. Schrock. Before uh, I address my question, I want to make a quick comment on the issue about the uh, city that's having a computer's hat. Yeah. I believe, I believe this has become a major national security issue. We need to uh, let the military deal with this. This sounds uh, draconic, but... I believe that hackers should be charged 10 to 15 years in prison mandatory with a major criminal felony. But anyways, that's my point. Um, <clears throat> the main reason I called, I called because you talked about the, uh, the Chinese issue where, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all of our manufacturing for the United States is, is now in Taiwan and China and, and other countries outside the United States. Um, my name is Admiral Dobson. I'm the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer with the International Space Agency. 
And we're getting ready to bring in a major uh, space operations and development center here to the Omaha area to support our space launch facility down in Brazil. And we hope to bring in uh, manufacturing companies here to the Omaha area, real manufacturing jobs, uh, aerospace manufacturing jobs, electronic uh, Mm -hmm. circuit board manufacturing jobs, to bring in and recruit, to bring in some talent uh, into this area. We have a beautiful Air Force base here. We have one of the most beautiful cities in the Midwest. We have one of the nicest uh, airports in the Midwest. We have all of our conference centers here. This is a really beautiful center uh, for, uh, I believe, to bring in, you know, state-of-the-art uh, manufacturing mm-hmm. for aerospace and electronics. And um, yeah, absolutely. I try to reach out. Oh, I absolutely agree, Rick. You know, when uh, when you're talking about uh, bringing in manufacturing, the, the problem is it's not an overnight solution. So, you know, I need external hard drives like now. I'm out. I, I literally have none. Um, <laughs> I'm out. And so if I want to get them in 20 days, I'm going to have to get them from China. That's just how it goes because they built that infrastructure. And it's going to take some time to rebuild that infrastructure uh, here in America to, to get that up and running. So thank you very much for the call, Rick. I appreciate it. I've got to move on here because I've got a couple other people to grab. George, welcome to the program. How can I help you on Compute This today? I'm having a problem with my email, Outlook, live.com. Mm-hmm. I can uh, get the email. I can't answer it. Oh, uh, nobody well, wants to talk to you, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, they don't want my messages. Well, what happens when you try to send the email? What What happens on the computer? Yeah, it just sits there and it doesn't, doesn't do anything. It just sits there. So you type your message, you click send, and then it just sits in the outbox? Yep. Just in it. And I look at the draft. It doesn't even go to the draft box anymore. Well, it won't be in the draft. It'll be in the outbox. Yeah, well, it, it just sits there. That's okay. All. all right, so things can things can just sit in your outbox for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, it's the log jam. Just like on a river, um, if you have an email, let's say you're typing the email address and you make a mistake when you type the email address and you type an invalid address, that's going to sit in your outbook in your outbox and try to send over and over and over again. It obviously can't send because there's a typo in the email address, but every other email after that that you send will pile up behind it because they're, they're sent out sequentially. And if the first one fails, the rest of them don't even get a chance to try. So the first thing I would do is find the oldest email in your outbox and delete it. And you know, hit the delete button, see if everything else goes through. If that doesn't do the trick, chances are that the outgoing mail server settings are incorrect. And this is an, an example of a perfect example of something that we can help you with over the Schrock desk, our virtual help desk. Uh, it doesn't matter what city you're in, doesn't matter if you're in Des Moines, doesn't matter if you're in Omaha or Lincoln or wherever, we can help you out over the Schrock desk. We can get online, get connected to your computer, see your screen, see the problem you're having, and then troubleshoot it as if we were sitting right there next to you. So please do give us a call in one of the service centers. Um, you can get a hold of all the phone numbers on our website at schrockinnovations.com. But give us a call in the service center. We're open on Saturday from 10 until 8 and Sunday from noon to 5. But give us a call. Try not to call right at 10 or right at noon. It just it's really busy during that time, so we're going to tell you, sorry, I can't do a Schrock desk right this second, but maybe at 1 o'clock I can, for example. Um, so, you know, just give us a little time to get through that morning rush of emails and backed up phone messages and stuff. Then we can get on and get you a Schrock desk done. Thanks for the call, George. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Next up is Kathy. Welcome to the show, Kathy. How can I help you uncompute this? Hi. I got a uh, icon that popped up on the screen initially, and then it started showing up on my games, et cetera, saying Mm -hmm. that there was a driver that needed to be updated. Gotcha. And according to the icon, which, by the way, has that Microsoft Shield on it. Of course it does. When you pull it up, it doesn't tell you what drivers need to be updated, but there's a charge of $50 for each one of them. Yeah, don't do it. even valid? Nope, it's a scam. Um, So drivers are pieces of software on your computer that tell your computer how to use its hardware. So you have a driver for your sound card, and that's how you get sound. You have a driver for your network card. That's how you get on the Internet. Uh, You have a driver for your touch screen. That's how you can touch the screen to do things. Um, So all these things have driver software, and everybody gets all bent out of shape because your drivers are outdated. Oh, here's drivers are one of those if it ain't fixed, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
kind of situation. Right. Um, so right. you don't want to mess with your drivers unless there's a reason to mess with the drivers. Um, so bottom line here, Kathy, is those driver, any of the driver updater programs that are out there, some people subscribe to them. Some people use ones that are you know, potentially free and you get uh, these pop-ups for this driver program. That's actually malware on your computer popping up, trying to sell you something that you don't need. Now, do you have semant Do you have our semantic endpoint antivirus software? Yes, I do. Okay, so this is a situation. This is a, called a malvertisement. So it is not a virus. It probably tagged along with some other program that you downloaded at some point. You know, we're next, 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 finish, and one of the next in there was, hey, yes, I also want the driver updater. Um, and so it got installed on the computer. So it's not a virus because you chose to install it probably, uh, even though you didn't mean to. Um, yeah, it's not uh, it's not doing anything malicious to your computer. It's not trying to spread itself. It's just trying to sell you a product that you don't need. But Semantic can't classify that as an infection because they'll get sued because it's not doing anything an infection would do. That doesn't mean it doesn't need to be removed. Um, so if you give us a call in the service center, we will remove this for you under the warranty from your endpoint antivirus software. Um, this is okay. we'll do it right over the shock desk, so you don't have to see this pop up anymore. I appreciate that. No, no Thank worries. You. No worries, Kathy. Thank you for the call. You know, this is one of the reasons why I talk about you should have the endpoint software on your computer. Even if you think you're infected, we'll take a look at it and find out what's going on. And it'll probably take us longer to connect to Kathy's computer than to actually remove this piece of malvertisement software. All right. So we've got a couple minutes left here on the program. So let me hit some things that we didn't quite get to on the show yet. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Who's the biggest of them all? That's right. Bigger than Windows. Bigger than Apple. Google now has 2.5 billion Android devices. In the last four years, they've added 1.5 billion. So their growth path, is, their trajectory is like a straight up arrow, basically. Whereas Apple in January boasted that its active install base uh, had exceeded 1.4 billion users of all products, including Mac OS and iOS devices. So if you include all of Apple's iPads, computers, Everything that Apple makes, Apple TV, the whole bit, there's still a billion users behind Google. Um, and on top of that, they're flat. Their the year-over-year growth was virtually non-existent. People who have Apple devices have them, and they're not buying new ones or adding new ones, basically. But people are adding Android devices all over the place. So if you have a divided household like I do, where mom and the kids are all Apple and I'm all Android, if you're an Android guy, well, here you go. You can you can give them, ah, my, my Android's bigger than yours. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so uh, the other thing we want to make sure you're aware of, uh, stay tuned after the show ends for the Aftershock. If you're in the market for a new laptop, we have a one-off item in our Lincoln Service Center. And I'm going to tell you all about it during the Aftershock. It's not on the website or anything like that, but if you're looking for a great deal on a laptop, that's going to be what you're looking for. Today's winner, $25 Shrock Innovations gift certificate is Rick. Congratulations, Rick. We'll get a hold of you. Nikki will get a hold of you on Monday to get that out to you. And then we will see you all again next Sunday for another exciting edition of Compute This. This is News Radio 1110 KFAB Omaha. Online at KFAB.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. A total scam and a witch hunt. I'm Pam Pusa.